Welcome to Casiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. We have 6 to the power a minus 6 to the power b equals 1260. And in this video, I will be presenting two ways to solve this exponential equation. And before we start, I would like to say, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. But now, back to our topic and the conditions of the values of a and b. a must be greater than b and a and b are positive integers. And here, based on the equation, a must be greater than b. And uh, the value of a and b must be a positive, positive integers. All right. And now let's start the first solution solving the equation. Now I have just written the uh, equation. 6 to the power a minus 6 to the power b equals 1260. Now our focus is on the first term. On the left, 6 to the power a. And here 6 to the power a can be written the same way as 6 to uh, the power a minus b plus b. Alright, so we're going to use that on here. So, this 6 to the power a now is equivalent to 6 to the power a minus b plus b minus 6b equals 1260. And from here, this can be written the same way as 6 to the power a minus b times 6 to the power b minus 6 raised to the power b equals 1260. And in here now, if you notice, we can factor out 6 to the power b. And so factor that out. 6 to the power b times quantity 6 power a minus b minus now factoring out 6b. Now we have 1 left right there equals 1260 now our next uh, focus is on the the constant on the right side of the equation that's so 1260 the factors of 1260 are 6 times 6 times 7 times 5 and uh, 6 times 6 is 36 and 7 times 5 is 35. So we substitute that on this one right here. So we have that. Uh, so 1260 is equal to 36 times 35. And left side equation, we just copy that. 6 power b times the quantity 6 power a minus b minus 1 equals. 36 and 35 and here by uh, comparison we have 6 to the power b we're equating that to, to 36 since uh, it's very noticeable that uh, it's very obvious that 36 is 6 squared and the base here 6 6 squared is base 6 so 36 can be written the same way as 6 squared so we are Equating 6 to the power b to, to 36. And the right side, the other one, equating this uh, 6 to the power a minus b equating to 35. So that is 6 to the power a minus b minus 1 equals 35. And from here, 6 to the power b equals 36 can be written as 6 squared and since then they have the same base b is equal to to 2 the exponent equated to b since they have the same base 6 all right so b is 2 and on the other side we have this one right here 6 
a so b minus 1 equals 35 and 6 raised to a minus b equals 35 transposing 1 right there to the, to the right side of the equation it becomes plus 1 and uh, this becomes 35 plus 1 is 36 so in here now 6 to the power a minus b because since 36 is 36 written in the same way as 6 is squared so this is 6 is squared now once again they have the same base so we can equate both equations put the equations left and the right the exponent to the exponent on the right so that means a minus b equals 2 and a equals transposing b to the other side will become positive b so 2 plus b but a is equal to 2 plus since b we, we got it earlier b is equal to 2 that means 2 plus 2 so then a then is equals 2 plus 2 is 4 so this is the value of a so that's the first solution in solving that uh, exponential equation so we're now on the second solution so from here again on the original equation 6 to the power a minus 6 to the power b equals 1360 and the conditions a must be greater than b and the values of a and b must be positive integers and here we're applying this uh, principle right here which since a is greater than b now we can express a in terms of b and here that is a equals b plus something to be added uh, to b to make it uh, equal to a and that is k and now we substitute that value of a over here on the first term so we have that 6 to the power of b plus k minus 6 to the power b equals 1260 and in here 6 to the power b times the quantity 6 to the power k that's the same way so we're applying the principle so the uh, the exponent rule over here is a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n so that means we're adding the exponent it's multiplying with the same base we're adding the exponent so in here that's what just happened right there so we keep going so the second term minus 6 to the power b equals 1260 and from here now if you notice we're applying we're factoring out 6 to the power b so 6 to the power b times the quantity 6 to the power k minus 1 equals 1260 and once again since uh, we have found the the factors of 1260 as uh, that's 1260 and the factors of these are 35 36 and 35 so let's go back to this equation 6 to the power b times the quantity 6 to the power k minus 1 equals the factors of 1260 so 36 and 35 and by comparison again though so we have this one right here compared to this so 6 to the power b compared to equated to 36 and from here we're equating 6 to the power b equals 36 and the right side is 6 to the power k minus 1 equals 35 and from here 6 to the power b equals 36 is written the same way as 6 squared and since they, they have both the same base we're equating b now to the exponent of the other side that's 2 so that means b is 2 alright so there's a value and on the other side is now simplify 6 to power k 
cos 35 transposing negative 1 to the other side will be plus 1 that is 35 plus 1 is 36 it is can be written the same way as 6 squared and from here 6 to power k equals 6 squared and since they have the same base now we're equating the power to both powers on both sides that is now k equals 2 to get the value of a since a is here a equals b plus k so we found that value of b is 2 and we found the, val the value of k is 2 so we just add that up so from here now we found the value of k as I mean found the value of b as a as 2 and value of k is 2 we have to substitute those values in this equation so a then therefore is equals to b is 2 and k is 2 so a then is equals to 4 so we have just found the same the same values for uh, two solutions all right b is 2 a is 4 just found the value of a and b a is 4, B is 2, and to check our answer, what we have to do is substitute the values of those A and B to the original equation. Let's do that. And in here, to check our answer, 6 to the power A minus 6 to the power of B is 1,260, where A is 4, and B is 2. Then 6 to the power A, where A is 4, minus 6 to the power B is 2. Was 1260 is a question mark. 6 to the fourth power is 1296 minus 6 squared is 36. So is that equal to 1260? That's a question. So in here, 1296 minus 36, 96 minus 36, that is 1000. 260 so it's equal to 1260 all right just confirmed that our answer is correct so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel please like and subscribe for more videos I would appreciate that and uh, thank you for your time thank you for watching I will see you in the next videos have a great day everyone bye